Well, this is a 460 Smith & Wesson, uh, which came with our fiber optic sight on it. Uh, and the sight mounting arrangement is what they call the DX style sight. So it has a pin through it, but it also has a spring-loaded plunger mechanism. So to remove the sight, you simply pull the nose of the sight backwards and lift up and the sight comes out. So we're going to replace the fiber optic sight with our new LightWave H3, which is tritium and fiber optic. So it has a tritium capsule that's embedded inside the fiber optic or inside the light pipe. And then you have the light pipe exposed. And then on the viewing end, we also have a white ring around it. <clears throat> we're going to install this in the Smith & Wesson X-Frame. And this has the DX type uh, sight mount, which has a spring plunger and a pin arrangement to it. So to install these sights, you take the back end of the sight and hook it onto the plunger and then push it down. That's as easy as it is to change. Several Smiths come with this type of arrangement, not just the X-Frame. And we make different heights of sights uh, that will go on any of those. So any Smith & Wesson that has that DX-type style sight, we, will, we have fiber optic available, and we now have the LightWave H3.